Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com, and this is your Photo News Fix. This Photo News Fix is brought to you by the Fronos Photo Educational Guides. To check out a free preview of all of the guides, head on over to fronosphoto.com slash guides. First up, the Nikon D850 has officially started finding its way into customers' hands. We so happen to have not one, not two, but three Nikon D850s as we speak. Now, we're actually filming this with the Nikon D850 in 4K so we can get multiple angles for a 1080 timeline that we then upscale to 4K. Trust us, it actually looks better, at least on YouTube. This is what the wide angle looks like, and here's what the crop looks like. We're also recording the audio straight into the camera, so hopefully it looks and sounds good because we didn't actually run a test. Be sure to let us know how you think this video looks compared to older photo news fixes. Do you still shake things like they're a Polaroid picture, but then you realize you're actually shaking a Fuji Instax photo but are tired of correcting someone who asks, is that a Polaroid? Yes, it's a freaking Polaroid, even though they went out of business and the camera says Fuji on it, but thanks for asking. The reason I bring this up is Polaroid is teasing a major announcement for September 13th on their website. It looks like they want to get back to their roots. Here's some of the messages they've posted, and I quote, Analog Dreams, September 13th. Steven, what's that? Intel's next album? On Polaroid's 80th anniversary, we take the first step to the next 80. Those are going to be slow steps because 80-year-olds tend to have walkers unless they're Wilford Brimley in that movie called Cocoon. Because there he, he floated and felt younger, but he was older. You ever seen Cocoon? Cocoon is freaking amazing. The graphics in it suck. The CGI is so bad, but it's such a good movie. You should cry. You'll cry. I cried. They go on to say in 1977, Polaroid took a big step forward. On September 13th, we take another one. And on February 8th, 2008, Polaroid went out of business the first time. And finally, the most complex set of man-made chemical reactions ever coming September 13th. Now, isn't the most complex chemical reaction the nuclear bomb? Are, are they making a nuclear bomb, Steven? Hmm. So it sounds like Polaroid is getting super serious and super excited about something. What do you think it's gonna be? Well, if you recall, a few months back, Polaroid was purchased by the same family who owns the Impossible Project. Could they be releasing a new film that more closely resembles the Polaroid film of my youth? Let's hope so, because the Impossible film is not very reliable and it takes nearly a full day to develop some of their film. Next up, on a serious note, I hope this never happens to any of you while on a photo shoot. A news photographer was shot by a cop who mistook his tripod for a rifle. The New Carlisle News reports that Andy Grimm, a photographer of theirs, was shot by Clark County Deputy Jake Shaw the other night while Grimm was trying to shoot some photos of a traffic stop. Grimm says, and I quote, I was going out to take pictures and saw the traffic stop and thought, hey, cool, I'll get some photos here. I turned around toward the cars and then pop pop. Yesterday, the Clark County Sheriff's Office released a seven minute video captured from the officer's body cam. Though you don't see anything, you hear everything, including the fact that the officer is friends with Grimm. Now here, take a quick listen. Oh, oh, 22, I Andy, thought that was a freaking gun, dude. Uh I don't want listen, you to lose your job for this. Listen, you're going to be uh, okay. Listen, in case I fall asleep, I need okay. you to listen. No, you're going to stay awake. My Keep camera going. Listen. and my uh -huh. camera bag okay. I'll comes get it. with me. Thankfully, it looks like Grimm will be okay. I guess all I can add to this is please be careful and smart while you're out there shooting photos. I want to remind you, if you're not subscribed on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button. And if you're watching on Facebook, please share this video. And finally, photographer Joey L has released a free one hour documentary called Born From Urgency, where he found his way into the Kurdistan region of Iraq and Syria. Yes, that's Syria. He was there to conduct a personal photo project. On Joey's website, he says, this film and photography series highlights the brave men and women on the front lines against ISIS. It's an independent, deeply personal, and first person perspective of the war without the 
constraints of our mainstream media. Think about this for a second. Joey put himself literally into harm's way to capture portraits of fighters at war. He's on the front lines of the war against ISIS, and instead of having a gun, he has his camera. Now you have to watch the trailer that he's posted because it's truly breathtaking, scary, and exhilarating all at the same time. Now I haven't had a chance to watch the hour long documentary, but if it's as good as the trailer, I can only imagine how powerful it really is. To go along with the free documentary, Joey will be releasing a photo book called We Came From Fire, Kurdistan's Armed Struggle Against ISIS. You can pre-order the book right now on his site for $50 or for $150 you can get the book and the limited edition signed print. Now I personally pre-ordered the book sight unseen out of sheer awe for what Joey has accomplished here. Now what do you guys think about the photos that Joey captured? Let me know in the comments below. And there you have it, that's your photo news fix this time around. Hopefully the D850 has done well. To check out the last photo news fix, go ahead and click right here. And that is where I'll leave it. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.